From the time we got up today, just imagine the countless blessings that we have been continuously receiving from above. The beautiful day, the sunshine, our God is so good. May we be grateful to God throughout the day. Be thankful to Him in whatever we do as we are under his mercies. In the book of Colossians, it says, be rooted and build up in him and establish in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in its with thanksgiving. Do you remember the day or the moment that you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior? That is a uh, great day, joyful day, a happy day. And most of the people, they jog down in the reverse side of their Bible and even they celebrate annually other than their birthday. St. Paul says, mountain that status quo and continue to build our life on that. As the book of Corinthians further says, the salvation you earned, protect and safeguard as that can vanish away. Has our life begun to excel and shine from the day we accepted Jesus Christ as our personal saviour? Hasn't our journey from the day to now been growing with his mercies and his spirit and also uh, with the Holy Spirit? Book of Isaiah says, rise and shine for that our lives must be rooted and growth in God in its trinity. Christ is the vine and we are its branches. Being separated from it, we achieve nothing. We can't achieve anything. We are just eligible to put out in fire. Book of Habakkuk says, even if the fig tree does not blossom and there are no grapes, on the vine, if the olive tree fail to give fruit and fields produce no food, if the flocks die far from the fold and there are no cattle in the stalls, then I will still rejoice in the eternal. I will rejoice in the God who saves me. Just imagine how can you praise the Lord when everything is taken out? When everything has gone wrong in your life, you must be lost your job, your loved one, you must be in debt. How can you praise him? The Bible says, still you can rejoice in the Lord always. That is the key to the life. That is the key to everything. Not when everything surrounding is good, when everything is going good, to rejoice. No, when everything is turning other side, then to praise Him. That is the most important thing in our lives. Romans 8 chapter says, And we know it all things good work for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. He is a specialist. If I say that even the worst thing in your life 
can turn into good. Therefore, in all things and all moments that we face, things that we perceive good or bad, turn to Jesus with trust. Be thankful to him always and just see, just experience the good times turning in a marvelous way in your life. Our God is one who promises to change bad things, worse things, into better and the best. Therefore, in all afflictions, trials, tribulations, be thankful to him. Our theme for this session is be grateful in all afflictions. It is not an easy task. How can we thankful for application, very difficult. Mary, having heard the archangel Gabriel, goes and visits her cousin Elizabeth, and there she sings a song of praise to God, where the atmosphere was not at all good, and there was every possibility for the irate Jews stoning her to death for conception out of marriage. But still, Mary, keep on praising the God. How can one give thanks to God and glorify Him for such a conception? But Mary did. Mary permits God to complete His divine plan within her. When entangled in undefeatable troubles and tribulations, we are at times Question the power and the ability of our God because of the lack of faith. For a moment, we don't pause and see what are the things that he has added to our lives from the very day we came into the world. We have forgotten all these and we are after a one mishappening of our life and we are complaining on that joy and peace are most foremost among the fruits of the holy spirit we receive this fruit by being grateful to god that is the only avenue that we could achieve under the theme be grateful to him throughout your life give thanks to the lord for his good his love endures forever says the psalmist you will remember that only one of ten lep leprosy patients came to Jesus to give thanks. He was a Samaritan who was considered good for nothing by the then Jews. The Lord awaits our gratitude. He asks the Samaritan, didn't I heal another nine? Where is the other nine? But only one person came to thank him in the book of philippines be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to him didn't we have breath inside when we woke up this morning did no, no one thanks given to the creator for that how many times have we thanked god for the breath that keeps on going because of his immeasurable love and god does not change his promises and his mercies all the time he gives and he renews morning by morning each and every promise given to us what's the greatest gift given to us our lord god come in a form of a human being and he lives within us within me within you and guide you until the end that is not the age end here even in heavens to come he will guide from your guiding hand 
book of Philippines says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say I rejoice. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests made known to God above. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your heart and mind in Jesus Christ. Praise be thy name to him, his glory. Amen.